Nope. They're grumpy. They're not gonna come out for you. Guys. Oh! Hi guys, my name is Tamara and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys some behind the scenes sugar glider care on how I bravely get my twin shiggies from their sleeping pouch to their bonding pouch. So stay tuned. So this is their bonding pouch and it's made out of fairly thick fleece as you can see. It comes with a mesh opening so that way they can breathe and not suffocate and die and then it comes with this zipper so you can zip them up and keep them nice and safe now because it is a bit chilly i throw in two cuts of fleece this just gives them a little bit more warmth and a little bit more comfort and in addition to these cuts i have this smaller cut of fleece that has my scent on it now the idea behind this is that the more accustomed that the gliders get to your scent or your smell, they'll eventually stop seeing you as a threat and more of like a, a friend or a family member. But my gliders have not caught on to that chick just yet because they <laughs> attack me every chance they get. But I have this two fleece cuts and a scent cut in their sleeping pouch as well. All right, guys. So I have removed their toys and their food dishes so that you can kind of see better what I'm doing. So yes, they have toys and yes, they have food dishes. Now this may or may not be the right way to get them from their sleeping pouch to their bonding pouch, but this is the least stressful way that I have come up with to get them in their pouch. Now, as you can see, I have donned on leather gloves because I am deathly terrified of my babies and they attack me every chance they get. So I have not really touched them without gloves because I don't want to get bitten. So this ought to be real interesting. Now I put their pouch in and it has all the fleece that I showed you before in there and ready to go. I'm going to take their pouch down. Oh my gosh. Oh, they scare me. Okay guys, that's called crabbing. And they are trying to scare me away. But unfortunately, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, who's that? Okay, so that's Luna. And I tell the difference of fire. <laughs> so you'd think that this wouldn't scare me, but it scares me every time. I tell the difference by their ears. Nymph has little dark patches at the tip of her ears, and Luna has all white. Okay. Y'all can tell I'm a little stressed out. This is very stressful for me. Let's see if I can get them in there. Come on. Good, Luna. All right, Nymphadora, your turn. Come on. No, don't go back out. No, don't. Go. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Come on, guys. Go in. No, there we go. Y'all know what the bonding pouch is. Get in there. No. Nope. Go. Get in. All right. Let's see if I can get them in there. Nope. Get in. Who's coming out? I feel I'm moving around. Who is that? Come on, guys. Oh, gosh, no. Guys, come on. Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know how I'm getting them in the pouch because I've never touched them. Ooh, gosh. Whoo. All right, guys. So this is probably about it for this video because they tear. Oh, someone's in there. Who is that? Nymphadora. Cool. All right. Come on, Tonks. Come on. 
All right, I'm gonna try and touch him. Oh God, I can't breathe. All right. Come on, get in there. I don't. Okay, so you can see her. There she is. That's Luna. Let's see. Now, Luna is the one that crabs a lot and tries to bite me a lot. But Nymph is in there all comfortable. Let's see if we can get Luna to follow. Come on. Come on. All right. Get in there. Oh, no, whose head is that? Success. Bam, guys. Whew. So Luna and Nymphadora are nice inside the pouch and I can finally breathe. So yeah. This is how I get them in their pouch, and sometimes it takes longer than others. But basically, I'll walk around with them for a few hours and try and get them acclimated to being around me more. Because eventually, I want to be able to hold them with my bare hands and not be 100% terrified of them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you hadn't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of the Totally Enchanting team. And also make sure you hit the notification button. That way you won't miss out on any new posts that we post. Thanks, guys.